Hi and welcome. This video is going to be a fun and informative video as we will discuss who is the better one, Google Sheets or Excel. So let's begin. Data Processing First of all, Google Sheets can be limited by the speed of your internet connection. For the typical spreadsheet, that's not a problem. But if you start to approach the maximum file size limit of 5 million cells, it can slow down or crash. Google Sheets isn't built for huge volumes of data, and it may lag if you push it to the limits. With Excel, there are no internet latency issues, and you can work in heavy multi-tab files limited only by your computer's memory. The maximum cells can be up to 17 million. Excel wins without a doubt. Pricing If we talk about price, the Google Sheet is free. You can use it whenever you want and wherever you want. If you want to jump in for a business subscription, you need to pay $6 per month. And if you pay for the year, Google will give you discounts as well. For personal use, the online version of Excel, Excel for the web is also free. For a desktop Excel app, the personal user account costs $6.99 per month, while business plan costs $12.5 per month. Google Sheets are preferred. Collaboration Another advantage of Google Sheets is the ease of collaboration. Suppose you're working on a Google Sheet and you feel that you need the help of your team in creating something worthwhile. So, you can ask your team to join in and share their inputs. It means on a Google Sheet, multiple people can work simultaneously. As a result, collaboration becomes easier. Microsoft Excel, on the other hand, allows you to track changes in Excel, but Google Sheets let you edit the sheet simultaneously. To share your workbook with others using Excel Desktop and enable co-authoring, you'll need to sync the file to OneDrive. However, it does not allow you to share all kinds of file formats and large file sizes if you want. Google Sheets takes the win again. Auto save. If you use Microsoft Excel, you would need to manually save the file. But in the case of Google Sheet, you can concentrate on creating the sheet, doing the work that matters, and your sheet will be automatically saved up on your Google Drive. Google Sheets is more preferable one more time. Features and Functions We will divide this category into further subcategories Customization, Data Analysis and Visualization, and Formulas and Functions. If you want to do something complex with your data, you can almost certainly do it in Excel. Excel has a huge range of inbuilt features and functions whereas Google Sheets is more basic. Google Sheets is an intentionally stripped down alternative to Excel. You can tell just by looking at the menu bar. Customization If you use a lot of functions, Microsoft Excel has a handy quick access toolbar that you can pin the buttons to for quick access. Google Sheets on the other hand has no such feature. You get what you get. And if that means going down a series of menus each time, you need to do it every time. Data Analysis and Visualization Google Sheets has quite a few charts and graphs including scattered, bar, pie, column, etc. Google Sheet charts may need manual efforts and you can't create charts like the pivot chart directly. Using Excel, you can create a flowchart, pivot chart, or a Gantt chart. You can access the inbuilt formulas and bar charts in Excel. You can also build a Kanban board. It has 3D pyramid 
and five of five charts which are missing from Google Sheets. Formulas and Functions Google Sheets offers all kinds of formulas including dates, financials, filters, VLOOKUP, math, etc. So it's pretty much got most of the things you may need. Google has the Google Finance function unlike Excel. Excel offers a wide selection of advanced formulas like conditional formatting, if function, macro, etc. It also has advanced functional add-ins such as Power Query, Power Pivot, and Power BI. Excel has an edge over sheets another time. Use of macros for business automation. If you find yourself repeating the same actions in your spreadsheets, such as formatting the range of cells, macros are a really handy tool. They let you automate spreadsheet tasks by recording your keystrokes. You can then trigger a macro whenever you need to repeat the action. In the past, macros were only available in Excel, but you can now create a macro in Google Sheets as well. Previously, Excel had an edge over Google Sheets for this reason, but now both stand equivalent. Security. Previously, it was easier to break into the password protected Excel files. Now, it is a lot more safer since the files can be stored to OneDrive. Google Sheets, on the other hand, automatically saves the files to cloud storage, hence, losing the work is a lot more harder. Both Sheets and Excel are fairly good at this. Conclusion both Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel outweigh each other at different levels. A team working together might prefer Google Sheets because of its pricing and ease of collaboration, while someone who works independently might prefer Microsoft Excel because of its data processing power. So what is your opinion? Do let us know in the comments section below.